One of China's greatest advantages is its size. This solar farm covers an area equivalent to the size of the city of Bristol. Panels stretch as far as the eye can see. Having the ability to transform vast landscapes into green power plants has accelerated the country's output from renewables. For the first time this year, the combined capacity of wind and solar overtook coal, a target met five years ahead of schedule. China has become the first country in the world to install more than one million megawatts of solar power and no other country is close to reaching that level of capacity. The solar facility we visited was constructed off the ground, so a goji berry plantation could be housed beneath the panels, giving the land a dual purpose. It also has the distinction of being built by one of China's biggest coal producers. But the vice president told me not to expect a phasing out of coal anytime soon. I don't think coal or carbon will be completely phased out. However, we need to reduce the waste of carbon resources and improve its usage efficiency. This is the problem we need to solve. Polluted days like this in Beijing are becoming fewer, but not quite a thing of the past. The country still needs fossil fuels to meet its energy demands. So China remains the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases. But it now also reigns supreme as the biggest producer of solar panels, electric vehicles and wind turbines. This is a production base of China's leading wind turbine supplier. The country has shifted its manufacturing might from traditional industries to green technologies. It's not just turbine manufacturing that China dominates, it's the component parts too. Everything from the gearboxes to the moldings in these massive machines comes from Chinese suppliers, as do the rare earths that make the magnets which actually convert the mechanical energy into electricity. Goldwind has recently secured wind farm projects in oil-rich nations like Saudi Arabia and Oman. International Chairman Wu Kai says a huge expansion has happened in the last few years. Especially like the, the Southeast Asia, like Yunnan, Philippine, Philippines, uh, Laos, Thailand, and also actually there's a, a very uh, eager to, to introduce the, the, the green energy like South Africa and uh, the, not only from the green uh, uh, scale, the, the generation side, but also more and more the mining company, they want to, to improve their the, the green content. Whether by design or fortune, China appears to have aligned its environmental targets with its economic ambitions, a convergence that could help the whole world breathe a little easier. Debbie Edward, ITV News, Jiangsu Province.